Welcome in, welcome in. Here's a little Galvic guide for you. Nothing fancy, super quick. Let's just get into it. As you can see, the armor and the inventory are on screen. It's super simple. Just grab some range gear. It doesn't have to be fancy. Upgrade what you can. Honestly, as long as you have at least a rune crossbow, you have no excuses here. Make sure you have enchanted ruby bolts, and you can bring some enchanted diamond bolts as well. Galvic is immune to recoils, I just don't have anything better for ranged than my Ring of Suffering. Obviously you need a fire protection shield of some sort, unfortunately for me this is the best I have. And as far as the inventory goes, you don't need much more than a ranging pot, an anti-fire potion, I'd also recommend a stamina potion, a prayer potion, and a super restore potion. Oh, and of course, what I have is good enough, you can bring anglers or brews if you really want to get weird about it, but it's not needed. All you want to do is stand around the middle of the boat, pray magic, and shoot the dragon. Occasionally, you'll see Galvic do a little animation. Uh, it's shooting a fireball up in the air. Just move a couple of tiles away and you're going to be fine. Don't get hit by it. It's going to hit you pretty hard if you do. You will also shoot a purple flame. This will deactivate your prayer. Just turn it back on once it hits. And he also has a little blue ball that will pull you towards him. Simply move back out of melee range. And he can also spawn these bombs in. They'll explode in a 3x3 area, which is a reason why we stand in the center of the boat in the first place. And for phase 2, there's not much to cover here. Galvic will be on the west side of the boat and will launch bursts of wind that drain some stats, along with the occasional range attack, but there's not much else to say here. Just watch out for the mechanics and you'll be fine. After that we have phase 3, this is where Galvik's on the east side of the ship, he'll cause these big waves to spawn on the ship, simply turn your camera to see the waves easier and stand in the gap. If you're having issues with this, try standing in the gap and not shooting Galvik until the waves have passed. If he shoots a fireball while the waves are coming, line yourself up with the waves and move two tiles north or south so you're still in the gap and away from the fire. That's it for phase 3, just keep at it, and here I'm going to shamelessly plug my Twitch. Currently we're at 71 followers, at 75 I reach a follower goal where I plan on spinning a wheel. That decides my fate between having to do a longer stream or a giveaway. So if you want to be part of the action, you can find me at ToxRS, link in the description of course. Phase 4, easy stuff here, nothing complicated. Galvic's in the middle of the ship, just stand back, avoid his attacks, and finish the job. Around here I typically swap out ruby bolts for the diamond, but he can shoot off this little earth blast that's going to trap you where you stand. This can be dangerous, but once you see the spawn, just move over a couple of tiles. If this becomes a really big issue for you, you could always just shoot and run around Galvic to make sure you miss the bind but that's pretty much it. Hopefully this guide helps. If it did, make sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe to the channel because it really helps. This was just a little guide I wanted to get out. Um, I have a buddy who can't finish Dragon Slayer 2, so you know. I also have another guide coming out next week. I'll let you wait and see what that is, but good luck and I'll see you on the next one.